So in this video guys, I'm going to show you how you do product photography, videography, photos, if you have no experience at all, and I'm going to show you exactly how you do that. All you need is preferably one softbox, two, or a ring light, and let's get straight into this video. So if you're wondering, this video, yes, is perfectly set up so y'all can see what I'm working with. So just like in anything, I have a fun little segue story, is that a couple months and years ago, I applied for a digital marketing video ad position, which required me to have experience in shooting product videos and photography. But I was like, oh no, I don't have experience. So just like you guys, I went on the YouTubes, did my research, watched a couple tutorials, and then I applied for the position. And the thing about this position is that it had a test application where I had to make a test fake video ad for them even though I've never shot product videos or photography before. So I'm going to show you exactly how and what I use as my own foundations. And if you're wondering, yes, I got the gig. So just like portraits, Product photography is great because the subject does not move and all you need to do is control the lighting environment. So right now I have this key light, which is my ring light right here, right? And if I turn this off, it would be completely dark, right? And I'm not gonna do that. Oh, actually, I will. might as well, you know? And this is what it would look like if I just relied on a ceiling light, which is horrendous, right? So let's see, I have a ring light. And it's not pointing at me. One of the biggest mistakes that a lot of beginners make is they put the ring light right in front of them, right? You always want to put it at an angle to the side so it creates less of a harsh shadow. And I'm going to turn off this ceiling light so there's less of that yellow light that I have above. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a fill light. That fill light is essentially reacting or being used as a reflector. You can also have a reflector here. It's just to balance out this harsh shadow that this light is making. So as you can see now, turn that on, point this towards me. And the before and after from no lights to this is pretty significant. Now all I got to do is I just got to zoom in. And now this is more properly lit the textbook way and it's the same thing to think of yourself as a product you have a key light which is the main source of light which is the ring light right here and then this is the softbox light just so it balances out that harsh shadow and it gives myself or the product or the person more of a well lit but some people might argue and be like hey that's too bland it is very just you know there's no dynamic to this so what you can do with these types of setups is the same thing applies what i can do is instead of having this soft box right here point at my face what if i just turn off to the back so it creates more of this fill light and because the wall is white what's happening is that the light is bouncing off the wall and belting back to the camera so it looks a little bit more you see more of this depth right and then what if i just move up a little bit right shift this over now i zoom in and it gives me of my my own video a little bit more of depth this 3d effect so what this is is you have a backlight as well as using this as a key light but that was just a brief example of what you can do with product photography or just the basics of photos in general, right? But in this video, I'm just going to do something a little bit more different because when it comes to my own experience with product photos and doing what I show you guys on camera, it's kind of hard to chat and do what I'm doing. So in this very walkthrough, Think of it more as camera ASMR and what I'll be doing is showing you guys if you have no experience at home and you just want to do product photos and you want to practice and maybe dabble into product videos, you can definitely do that. All you need, links in the description, is a softbox, right? 
you don't want a harsh light. The bigger the softbox is, the more diffused and softer the light will be. And you want this ideally as close as you can possibly get to your subject, in this case product, and the better it will look. And because there's a softer light, you also have to worry about filling this side. So you can do that by two ways. One is having a light to balance out the shadows, right? The other way is you can have a reflector, a piece of paper, something here. So it, the light that's coming from this source is bouncing to here, filling out this. And you'll see how much it can light up, give the side a little bit more of a 3D texture comparing to if you just shot it straight on. So what I'm going to do is you'll see me move around and play around with the one light. I'm going to play around with a, the second light, which is going to be my LED Godox light and just putting against a black desk with a white backdrop or a white wall. And you'll see that you can take pretty decent product photographies, even if you don't have much experience and this is a complete home setup. Like I said, all you really need is a softbox, make it two. And ideally, if you had one really strong, like the Godox, like the 60Ws, the essentially the very focused key lights with the big, big octagon type of shell. Those are ideal for photos and product photography. Link description and you'll check all the ones that I actually recommend. And uh, you guys let me know if you want to see more of these videos. If you guys want to sh see what it's like to create a product video, let me know in the comments. But that is how the basics of any product video shot, video, photo, just photography and shooting cinematics all in general comes down to same principles, right? Your lighting, your camera gear, your composition, and how much things can change if you just change a light around. How much things can change if you just play around with the different types of lighting and how that will actually look on and off of camera. And for you to have a place where you're at home, you have a camera, you have two lights, you have any product. You can literally take pictures of, you know, a water bottle, a pencil, your shoe. And once you get practice and doing things like layering and composition, other objects into the into your photo or video, you can practice a lot by just doing this at home. And then you can slowly build up your portfolio and more importantly, your own skill set. And how you take videos and photos is going to be constantly improving because you're putting in the time that no one else is. So am I the best product photographer? No. But what I can show you guys is what I've learned and I was able to get the jobs that I've gotten because I applied the principles and the foundations of just any sort of video and photo knowledge, right? So I'm just paying it forward. And my name is Peter. If you want to see more of my resources, as well as get serious about, you know, learning your camera, how to freelance and learn video production, all that, link description, check that out. I have essentially a crash course on how you can use any camera, especially if it's a Nikon, as well as starting your freelance creator gigs. My name is Peter. You're watching the Broke Fishing Collective. We all start with nothing, but you can always create something.